On today's 11 by 14 inch canvas, I'll be creating my own painted papers for decoupaging using modeling paste and jute twine. If you're interested in my digital download files, you can click on the PayHip link below. So let's get started. I'm tearing my papers into some shapes for my background and then I'll decoupage these on with Mod Podge. I like to water my Mod Podge down just a little bit. It just behaves better for me when it's watered down a little bit. I like to put some Mod Podge down, smoosh my papers, then Mod Podge on the top, and then I tap all over with my chip brush so that I don't have any brush strokes. And then I like to take a couple of baby wipes and gently kiss my canvas all over to make sure the texture is all the same and it dries evenly. Taking some of my flamingo red and putting a little bit of off-white in it to lighten it up. Printer paper or tissue paper would work as well. Mixing my Tuscan teal with a quite a bit of water to make it nice and runny. And then I'll tap it onto my paper and lift it and let it run down. And then I'll dab around here and there where I've got a little bit too much with a paper towel. While my papers are drying, I'm going to add a little bit of modeling paste through my pattern stencil to give some nice interest to my background. Now I'm going to use that same stencil to add a layer of paint to my paper. I like to use a clothespin and a makeup sponge with about a half inch sticking out the bottom. I was originally selling this as a kit on Etsy, so that's why you see me talking to the camera <laughs> so much with my hands. got a few different colors out here on my palette and I'm going to use a wedge of a bath sponge to start adding color to my canvas. And then I will blend with a couple of baby wipes. Now I'll use my stencil to mark my petals and cut them out. I've decided where I want them and now I'm going to mark my centers. I'm mixing up a coordinating red and I'm going to use my toothpick and I'm going to go around and put some dots in here and there just to add a little more interest. And after I get all of those done, I'm going to come in with my liner brush and go around the edges of each one just to finish each petal off. I decide I want a little bit more of my rosy red in the background. And I add a little nutmeg. And last, a little bit of highlighting with my off white. Time to decoupage my flowers. Once I get my flowers on, I will go over the entire canvas with Mod Podge 
and then come back with my baby wipes and make sure that I've got the same texture all over my canvas. Okay. Now I'm going to use my stencil to mark where I want my leaves. Now I'm going to use my beacon glue, my fast grab. I love this stuff for this kind of project. I'm going to get it started in a couple of flowers so as it dries, I could, or let it dry a little bit while I work on the other one. And I'm going to start in the center of the flowers and then come down to the stems and the leaves using my trusty toothpick to help me as I go. I think I forget that I've zoomed in here and I keep going out of frame, so I'm sorry about that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of watered down paint and go over that twine just to jazz it up a bit. Well, that's it for this canvas. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your kind of video, I would love it if you would like it and subscribe to my channel. Hope you'll join me next time.